Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Thursday, the 18th of May 2017. So, yesterday, let's uh, take a look, and this is all thanks to uh, Mr. President and the potential for impeachment and anything else. Uh, like I've said before, uh, the knives are out for Trump. They have been from day one. The system doesn't like him, the elite don't like him, the establishment don't like him. And they're trying to pin anything on him now i'm not saying that he's whiter than white not by far i don't like the man particularly uh, as much as anybody else and who knows what he did in his business days with the russians but uh, they're digging and they're trying to find and like i say pin anything on him. and this is good news for us and that's all that matters frankly uh, he's created the volatility that uh, we've been looking for and as i've said day after day the volatility will come and uh, sure enough yesterday it turned up in spadefuls as again uh you know i've every morning we've looked at the lows in volatility it's been slightly tough because of the lack of volatility but as i've said you know sit on your hands wait for it and when it comes along then you will be rewarded and this is what we got uh, yesterday so the market uh, started off sideways we had a potential buy signal the market uh, then traded uh, sideways i'm just going to wind this back actually because i was uh, talking to a friend on skype at the time and just talking through the price action before the open as the market dropped down to here i said watch how the market copes with the 20 bar average that's going to be important first if the market can't close above this level then we're going to see the weakness continue in the market so again just purely by observation prior to the market open we've got a situation where we've got all of this weakness here Got the market coming down so immediately you should be looking at this area if the market manages to come back and that's exactly what we got the market then put in a buy signal the market then came back to the uh, 20,800 level found weakness cancelled the buy signal and the market uh, moved lower it then rallied back and then we had the crude oil figures which i said that nowadays are not really they're, they're mislabeled in my opinion it's not a high impact news item it's a medium impact uh, so there i am having a look see what the figures were uh, they were bullish figures actually and the thing that sort of kept me in the trade with this is the amount of weakness in the background the incredibly lows in the implied volatility the vix at a 17 day record you know the downside is going to be the right side plus there was no uh, major volume reaction to uh, the news either when it came out. So it was just a matter of having to sit through the uh, activity before the market eventually moved down. But they soon uh, brought it back. You can see there uh, it hit the target price and then they started to buy it back. And then out of this one. And then we had a buy. No surprise there. The market's down 300 points. On, uh, including the overnight market so once again we're going to see them try and bring the market back as the market moves lower there's always the opportunity to buy back for the short term it can be dangerous and it can be uh, unprofitable as well because the market can soon turn and move lower when we've had the lows in the implied volatility as I've said before we know the downside is going to be the best and we'll look at this in the daily chart when we get to it so the market came back we got again you know you've got to take note of this we got back to the 20 bar average uh, if i just wind that back slightly so we've got the there you go you can just see that there and you can see precisely what we've got and we've got this psychological level there at uh, 20,750 and we're against the the mood of the market and that is it's uh, feeling slightly negative because of all of the threats of impeachment and tweets about impeachment and everything else uh, to do with Trump it's uh, weighing on the market so the market then trades sideways for a while then we get into the first part of the evening session we get another sell signal and again the market tries to come back here as well you can see the uh, buying coming into the markets here but first starts off selling then the buying comes in but uh, then the market needs to close back below the support it does and then it moves lower and it comes back and then it goes lower and then eventually it hits the uh, scalp and again if you look at this bar you can see the selling came into the market uh, here and then 
prices uh, headed down towards the uh, next psychological level which is going to be the 20,650 and then the market sideways now if you've traded all three of these and you've uh, bagged the profits and also one thing that's very important you will know again from the market alert there's uh, there are a lot of things that i repeat in the market alert and i don't do it on purpose i do it for a reason of actually trying to um, get this into into your psyche so that you're actually aware of it the patterns the thing is with me i see patterns in the market uh, it's not mathematics or anything like that it's 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 purely and simply patterns and the pattern we've had for an awful long time you know what's coming they will try and bring the market back before the close the plunge team buying the dips whatever you want to call it they will try and bring the market back and this is why you, you see now i'm having to look at the chart just to see where the daily chart just to see where we are what chance the market's got of going lower at this point uh, we've already taken out uh, all of these areas and we'll look at this in more detail in a in a moment all of these have been taken out and this one is really important and i'll come back to that when we look at the uh, daily chart in uh, isolation so now i'm having a look see what the state of uh, the market is and i think i actually did it on this chart let me just see if i did uh, i'm just marking up something there uh, let me just fast forward here what I want to do is to show you I was calculating how far the market had actually moved down but uh, it's obviously not on this one I went and had a look and it was over 300 points from the uh, from the overnight and then uh, returned to the five minute chart so the market filled this signal and this is very important as well what are giving you the background they'll try and bring the market back they don't want the market down even though the volatility says it's going down as uh, simple as that well they will do anything to keep the illusion alive it's different this time the old rhetoric that we had in 2007 it's not different It's exactly the same the only difference is there's four trillion on the feds uh, balance sheet uh, that is still uh, needs to be uh, offset and cleared and uh, yet it's different this time it's absolute nonsense it's no different we've got bubbles everywhere and again if you look at this this is a very important price bar desperate to bring the market back just look at this price bar here and its volume look at the previous bar the range from here from the high to the low is far greater than it is in the bar following where it's far narrower and the volume is greater that says screams alarm bells that they're trying to buy into the market and that's precisely what we see them do as the market then finds support market comes back above the uh, 20,650 and there you can see the market uh, moving higher and eventually it takes out the stop and as I've said many many times before and again I'm going to say it, if you've already made three or four profitable trades then you know don't try and stay in for the last bit especially if it's a short at this point in time because they will do anything to bring that market back which they've done now for the last several years you have to go back and look at every intraday chart and we've been through this time and time again they will try and bring the market back before the close just to keep sucking in the trump voters and also uh, to offload stocks themselves and also uh, from a political point of view to make it look as if the economy is doing well because the stock market's doing well which is uh, a complete uh, joke as we know so let's go back to the daily chart now cast your mind back to this point here this is when macron won the first round of the french elections and if you go back and look at that market alert or the day i recorded this one you will hear me saying there the market will come back and fill the gap and 91 percent of the time the market will come back and fill the gap and that is precisely what we see yesterday with the market coming back and filling the gap so no surprise there now other things to look at uh, in this chart i'm just going to clear an, a lot of this stuff out of the way uh, we don't need it now so let's just get rid of this uh, we can see that we've come through here as well so i'm going to delete that as well so yesterday we came through the 2690 and now they're doing the usual trick the following day when they have a sell-off they're going to try and bring the market back and that's exactly what we're seeing here watch this level as the market comes back in the pre-market session see how it is by lunchtime see if there's any momentum behind it and uh, we can gauge exactly what's going to happen 
Uh, News-wise today, what have we got? Anything to uh, move anything? Well, we've got Super Mario out at 6pm, and that's about it, really. He's uh, no doubt going to have something to say about uh, yesterday. Um, usual nonsense and BS that uh, they keep pumping out into the markets to try and keep them floating. Uh, the US actually so far have... Um, looking at the figures the other day and also we looked at it last week with the ecb have exceeded uh the qe printing in the first four months and they did in the whole of 2016 so again whatever he says take with a pinch of salt as uh, usual and then finally let's have a look at uh, the implied volatility so yesterday we see a massive spike in the implied volatility the market breaking out of that sideways range as i said it would at some point couldn't give you the exact date or day but it always does it's never failed as I keep saying as well from since 1994 since I uncovered it and uh, there you can see the reason why because the market broke out of the sideways range there to the downside as I've always said it's a staircase up elevator down and that's why you see prices drop sharply and quickly uh, there's nothing there to support it and then you see the uh, volatility rise very quickly and just to finish off with what's uh, in the news, uh, we've got to uh, start off with this one, chart of the day. It's different this time, and that's uh, <laughs> purely and simply because tweets uh, containing Trump and impeach are uh, at a massive uh, record level there, which is uh, very interesting. You can see all of the uh, previous times where there have been uh, spikes all the way since he was... Uh, uh, elected president but now it's off the scale since uh, firing Comey uh, according to the next uh, article that uh, would appear that uh, uh, Trump is safe uh, McCain rejects call to impeach him he's still lurking around then in the background as well uh, Trump responds to the appointment of the special counsel who's going to replace uh, not replacing uh, Comey but he's going to make an investigation into uh, what uh, Comey was actually doing before Trump actually fired him. Uh, this is an interesting one as well. The coming collapse will be even worse than the last, uh, and I can't disagree with that. Uh, uh, anybody who does the research will agree entirely with that. It says the next crash is coming, and the decision by central banks to paper over the economy's troubles with a massive injection of debt likely means the next crash is already overdue. And then the highlights is uh, this one Obama reveals uh, true thoughts on Trump he's nothing but a bullshitter um, so taken uh, Obama a moment or two to actually uh, realize that which is slightly alarming given that he was uh, in power for eight years unless of course he's uh, just making his thoughts known now uh, everybody else is on the bandwagon who knows so yes, uh, some very interesting things. It's only going to get better from this point forward. We're going to see more volatility. We're going to get uh, rallies back. There's no doubts about that. As I said, and I keep saying, they want the market on the highs. They don't want it crashing just yet. So they'll do anything to bring it back. So after a down day like yesterday, they'll try whatever they can to bring it back. And if they can't, then it will resume the uh, the downside but just watch for these uh, short-term rallies in the daily chart as the market uh, tries to regain its position and uh, again display a confidence that really is superficial and doesn't exist that all is well right that's it uh, i will uh, send out uh, any notes uh, during the day as uh, normal other than that thanks for watching see you in the next one